is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To thee we come, O Lord, our God. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. God Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now let us turn unto the altar of God and make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, let us offer the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with this authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. God is our refuge and our strength, and ever-present help in distress. Thus we do not fear, though earth be shaken and mountains quake to the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam and mountains totter at its surging. For he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glo glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, 
only Son of the Father. Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you are the consolation and salvation of those who trust in you. The tempest of the world rages about us and the sea of life often carries us far from you. Speak your word of command that the earthly storms may subside and that we may be guided in peace to the harbor of your kingdom. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God and most gracious Father, you gave us parents for the rearing of each new generation and the fulfillment of your purposes on earth. You poured into their hearts the graces of faith, love, and sacrifice. On this day, dedicated to the honors of our fathers, we ask you to bless all the fathers of our congregation. Empower them to lovingly fulfill the obligations that you have set before them as they look to the example of St. Joseph. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we pray this day for the repose of the souls of all faithful departed fathers. Grant unto them eternal rest, and we ask for your grace and blessing. Accept them into your eternal kingdom, and bring us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> On this, the twelfth Sunday in the Ordinary, we take the first reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garments, and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it, and fastened the bar of its door, and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them. He caused the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea was stilled. The second reading for today is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who might live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who, for their sake, died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. When you pass through the water, I will be with you, for I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may willingly proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory be to you, Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you so terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. From the Gospel according to St. John, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, on this Father's Day, On this Father's Day, may we first honor all our fathers, both the living and those souls who have passed before us. On Father's Day, so many memories, so many thoughts of our fathers, both good memories and those not so good. On this Father's Day, Again, we turn to the Holy Family and to the Christian standards. So many times in Holy Scripture we have heard about Jesus and his mother Mary, yet Joseph, the husband of Mary and the guardian of both Mary and, and the child, speaks volumes of the importance of this day. Not too much is known about Joseph. He is not mentioned in the letters of St. Paul, and not in the Gospel of Mark. And except for the incidents of the angel coming to him, and the angel coming to him, calling him out to go into the land of Egypt, the only other time that we hear about Joseph is when Jesus at age 12 went up with him as well as his mother Mary, to the Passover. We remember the story of where Jesus stayed behind and found three days later. After that, we really know nothing about Joseph. 
how long he lived, and when he died. But what we know about Joseph in the short portions of Scripture was that Joseph was a righteous man. He observed the Jewish law and the holy days, and finally, he accepted God's will by taking Mary to be his wife. Can you imagine the inner turmoil he must have had when he first learned that Mary was pregnant? But in his righteousness, after the angel Gabriel came and visited him and told him not to be afraid in taking Mary as his wife, he put all his trust in God. You know, it has been said that it's tough being a man, a husband, and a father. Though this is a day when fathers usually receive simple gifts and very little gratitude, I'd like to speak a few words about a gift that fathers have given and true fathers should give to their children and to their families, and that gift is themselves. I learned from seeing my dad as being a father and a husband to my mother was not always easy. The days of leave it to beaver or father knows best are long gone. The days of men coming home in their business suits and having a couple of martinis before dinner are not today's realities. For in our world, among families, there is so much turmoil and similar to the condition in which Jesus and his disciples found themselves in. Although many generations have come and gone since I was born, there is still a lot that each generation of fatherhood has in common. It has been said that almost any man can have a child, but only special ones are round to be a dad. I want to say this morning that true, God, true dads are truly special people. I have personally had many heroes over the years, from Superman when I was a kid, to reading about Babe Ruth and other great fathers and men, but in the end, my real hero was my dad. Working all his life to provide for his family made my father a real dad. And that one of the amazing things about my dad is that, as for many of you, no matter how busy they were or how many hours they worked, so many were there to help with advice was needed. How sad that in the storms of our society and in today's world so many children are with a dad to be there for them, to give them a positive role model. I was one of the lucky ones. You know when I faced difficult times growing up as a child and as a teenager None of the other heroes were there to help me, but my dad was always there. He couldn't leap tall buildings with a single bound like Superman, or hit a home run like Babe Ruth or Ted Williams, but he was there, always caring. I am sure so many of you have wonderful stories about your relationship with your dad and the positive effects that he had on your lives. And yet, even with all the common traits of a real father and those that he possesses, from one generation to another, there is one trait that men and dads possess which has, have done them great disservice. And that trait is not being able to show their weaknesses their fears, and their frustrations. I think that many men were and are brought up 
not to show affection or emotion or anything that would be interpreted as a form of weakness. I think men and fathers are taught that they must first be strong, proud, and tough and have everything roll off their back like water on a duck. I never heard my dad share his hurts, his fears, but again, he always put himself last after my mom and my two sisters and myself. To me, that was a mark of a real dad. Today, men have come quite a long way since then, but yet, in many matters, little has changed. I've come to believe that one of the most important things that a man can give to his wife and to his family, his children, is to set the example of righteousness that St. Joseph gave to his family, mostly love, commitment, and dedication. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as the storms of life encompass all of us in a very chaotic and a difficult world, today on Father's Day, may we all remember our fathers in prayer, both living and deceased, and ask that God would bless all of them for what they have given to their families. Again, love support, and most importantly, themselves. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Save me, O God, for the waters threaten my life.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray, O Heavenly Father. Through this holy sacrifice, may we become a new creation to work together with your Son for the reconciliation of our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty God, as we offer these gifts on Father's Day. Help us to honor our fathers, that our days may be long in the land in which you have given us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these gifts we offer to you in faith and trust for the repose of the souls of all our departed fathers. May this offering unite all of us with your son's offering on the cross, which brings unto all of us eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. For forever and ever, Amen. the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his teaching and ministry, Jesus showed us how we are to live, giving our lives in service to you and to all people. Still hearing, his word in our world today. May we strive to follow his example and set our hearts on the whole world to come. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. And all here present who faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ, our Lord, we pray this day. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. all moments so sacred for the whole human family our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you God his Almighty Father and giving thanks to you he blessed it broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat it for this is my body which is given for you In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant, Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in the back of the most. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, especially all departed fathers, who have gone before us with the Son of Faith, and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits but parting our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things through him with him in him all honor and glory are yours almighty father with the holy spirit for forever and ever Amen. let us pray instructed by our savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh, 
heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant it the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us, living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion make all of us willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father and unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and feed my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. 
May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, what we have received on your lips, may we receive that thing. May this gift never be come to us in the last name. Amen. 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 May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood, which I have the sea. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, through this Holy Eucharist, reassure us in times of fear that in our passage through life you are ever present to protect and save us through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grateful hearts for the blessings of fatherhood. Strengthened by this Holy Eucharist, inspire us to understand and appreciate a Father's spirit of love and self-denial. Through the incarnation of your Son, you showed us the love a Father has for his children and the way to truth, life, and understanding. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May all our departed fathers, of whom we remember on this Father's Day, be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man who is coming into the world. 
He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to Holy Name of Jesus, National Catholic Church, in which we have celebrated today the sacrifice of the Mass and have offered special prayers this day on this Father's Day for all fathers, both living and deceased. May the fathers this day be appreciated by his family. And may the grace of God give strength and guidance through all the storms in which dear fathers must endure, that it is in the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ that he calms our own personal seas. We will conclude this morning with offering a prayer, not only for the intentions of the sick, the suffering, and the dying, but also special intentions for all our fathers, both living and deceased. May God be with you until we come together again. Again, God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And for the repose of the souls of all faithful departed fathers, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.